bought this magazine, Feel Free, by Leanne Ford, one of my favorite designers. I think they're on the Magnolia Network. But anyways, one of the first articles talks about remnant granite, and it says, I use salvage marble often, anytime I can. Actually, I love the warmth of the patina. I love how it takes the load off us as we create, design, and live in our spaces. We aren't afraid of ruining the marble, because let's face it, it came ruined and the price tag is right. And that's why I love using remnant granite in my designs as well, like I've used it in the bar makeover, I've used it in the bathroom, and I just think it's gorgeous. I love some of the natural stains that it has on it, and um, and it's cheap, you know? You can do a whole space, probably for like under $1,000 with a nice piece of remnant granite, and who cares if it doesn't match? You know, like I have some areas in my bathroom where they've pieced different granites together and it's still cohesive and it still looks gorgeous. If we could run it, if we could run it back and do you wonder, if we could run it back, if we could run it, if we could run it back and do you from She Holds Dearly and it's just like a little book if you're doing any designing to your home or curating or cleaning and it has like a pocket in the back folders so I'm beginning to create the mood board for the next property we move to like you see I have some like a floral arrangement that I like I really like that couch I love the squishiness of it I like this basket. I'm in love with this door. I like the use of remnant granite. And this is just a picture of like a rustic outdoor space, which I don't mind at all. I prefer that over the proper English garden style of um, landscape. And then the, this is just another palette for like a living room. I'm trying, to sh I'm trying to get away from the total neutral aesthetic and go for more like with the darker woods. So anyways, this is just the beginning and I can't wait to continue to fill this up with finishes and um, you know, appliances and stuff like that. I really love the wood ceilings. Hope, I'm hoping to get a home with some wood on the ceilings, but it's proven to be pretty hard because most places you get a lot of land in a crappy house or a great house and a little bit of land. Okay, a little sandwich with arugula arugula it's good but my husband taught me a trick you basically, you put the mayo side down and then you cook it face down. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Too. So you put it face down. Also helps soften the bread. The bread's a little hard. Okay. Face down. Face down. I usually don't buy this cheap meat, but I was just on a budget the other day. I had so much stuff in my shopping cart. Any place I could to save a dollar, I basically did, you know? But I usually don't like chopped meat. 
I do sometimes like <clears throat> cotto salami. It reminds me of the big house. Going after here. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Mm-hmm. Let me help you pick it up. Stop. Let me help you. Mine has everything yummy. I did hide a little piece of arugula. this place. If we do decide to move. It served us good. Just a dang neighbor's not too neighborly. We're different, you know. Nothing worse than when people hide behind the church. But yet they're not Christ-like. My daughter threw a party and he came at me sideways. I should have been like, Jesus ate with the taxpayers and the sinners. Where's the love? Where's the prayers from my family? Some cake, ice cream cake. Add milk, put it in a blender, and you have like a Oreo milkshake. Could be a little thicker. Give it to my son. Here, let me know what you think. Sure. It's okay. A little thin. I did. You don't do you like me? Uh oh. Sorry. He doesn't like me. Close.